Hello everyone. In my previous video I have showed you how to use the aggregate function and what is the advantages of using this function into your worksheet and today in this video we are going to show you some important features of aggregate function and why this will give you an advantages into your workbook we are going to discuss it briefly into this video so watch this video till the end welcome back everyone on a new video of microsoft excel miscellaneous series into your favorite channel technical portal into this series we are going to talk about some important but not commonly used formulas and don't worry i'll give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box so please check it out so guys you can see in this simple database i have three columns called sum subtotal and aggregate and each of the cells contains the same amount so that we can understand it in a better way so here you can see that we have total cells of 14 here look at here count is 14 right that means this is actually perfect but why are we going to use the aggregate function so let's start with the sum function i'm going to show you in a very simple way that you can easily understand so at first if we use the sum function look at here carefully equals to sum then what we are going to sum we are going to sum this total sales right that is from c3 to c16 range right close the parentheses hit the enter button look at here it is showing you and some amount of this data range right and here is no error showing so if we use the subtotal function what it will show us equals to subtotal then we are going to use the sum function here as nine argument comma now it is asking for reference and this is our reference from d3 to d16 right close the parentheses hit the enter button look at here it is also showing you the same result so there is no difference till now so here if we use the aggregate function let's see what happens equals to aggregate here we are going to use the sum function as function 9 comma now we are going to use number third option as ignore hidden rows error values nested subtotal and aggregate functions right so insert number three here insert a comma now it is asking for array here we need to give our cell ranges that is from e13 to e16 cell there is no requirement of the second argument as case so we are not including any close the parentheses hit the enter button look at here it is showing you the result accurately so why do we need to use the aggregate function look at here if we add any of filter into this cell ranges go to the home tab click on shorten filter and apply any filter here we are not going to include any SMPS right so click on OK now look at here the sum amount didn't change it is showing the whole result from C3 to C16 cell but the subtotal function and the aggregate function is actually showing the result as per the current value so you may ask why aren't we using the subtotal function and why are we using the aggregate function so look at here carefully in this case if we have any errors into this database what happens equals to if we divide anything with zero it will show us as a division error right so if we copy the formula from right to left select this and press ctrl r to copy the function look at here carefully the subtotal function also gives you an error while your aggregate function doesn't gives you any of the errors so that's the main difference note carefully three points of using the aggregate function in your database that is aggregate function returns a hashtag value error if a second argument that is as k is required but not provided that will show you an error right second point is 3d references do not work with aggregate function and the third and last point is aggregate function is designed as 
for the vertical ranges not for the horizontal ranges so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing